folks, and welcome to another episode of Ghost Light Hours, where I am on a quest to find out what we as theater makers are doing to make it work during the time of COVID-19. Today, for our first interview, we have a very special guest. I'll let them introduce themselves. My name is Kelly Bremner, and I am the chair of the theater department at Emory and Henry College. As for my role in the festival, I was one of the people who helped conceive of the festival along with some colleagues at the college, some colleagues at the barter. I was in the room where it happened, so to speak, where we got together and conceived of this idea of a virtual theater festival of Appalachian plays talking about COVID-19. I also am co-producing the piece here on campus, making sure all eight of them come to be. And I'm also lucky enough to be the director for three of them. So, Dr. Bremner, why this? Why now? Why this play festival? Theater makers are always going to do what great artists do. We're going to be creative. And I think this festival is such a great example of an artist's creativity in a challenging situation. Some people have said to us, why 10-minute pieces? Well, here's the thing. Folks like to think about digital material in little bite-sized chunks. And so we are giving you our virtual theater festival in little bite-sized chunks so that you can enjoy them and look forward to the next. So the very basic idea. So I have got Emory and Henry students, professionals at the Barter and Emory and Henry faculty working together to forge new territory into a completely new kind of theater using cameras, using stages. Some of the pieces are done remotely, entirely remotely. Some of them are done face to face with limited abilities to build gigantic sets because it's hard to do that if you can't get close to one another. So we're innovating. We've got some cameras, we've got a green screen set up. We have got all kinds of ways to think through this problem and it's all brand new for all of us, for the folks at the barter, for the faculty, for the students, and we're doing the best we can to learn at the same time as one another, to forge ahead together, learn, fail, pick up the pieces, try again to make beautiful performance. And then that that performance is about here. We're using our medium to tell stories that are not being told by anybody else. So we're using the medium of theater to forge into completely new territory to be on the edge of telling the story of our community, of Appalachia, for the past six months. What's been particularly challenging or hard about this whole process? <laughs> Mary Liza, everything is hard right now, right? Everything is so hard. It's hard that a percentage of my students are not on campus at all. It's hard that a percentage of my students are on campus, but we need to stay masked and we need to stay six to 10 feet apart from one another at all times, even when masked. It's hard that the technology is brand new. It's hard to be figuring out a new art form in a way while I also am under the pressure of producing eight new plays. But all of those things are also what is great, right? So the fact that my students are both remote and in person means that some of the plays that we commissioned are for students to act in them face to face here in person. And some of them are for students to act in remotely from far, far away. It's Pretty neat. hard because I can't let them get anywhere near each other. But then I gave that information to the playwrights and the playwrights have used that to make really, really interesting theater. So everything that's hard is also what's great because again, that's what theater makers do. That's how you are creative in the times of trouble. What are you most excited about? I am most excited to be making theater again. Having to cancel a show last spring was one of the worst things I have ever had to do as the chair of a theater program. It broke my heart to cancel that amazing production. So what I'm excited about is to be making theater, making vital theater in a time when the world needs it more than ever. Thank you for asking, Mary Eliza. Thank you so much for talking with us today, Dr. Bremner. It was a real pleasure and I cannot wait to see how this new play festival turns out. If you're interested in seeing the plays when they come out, then keep an eye on the Emory & Henry Theater Department Facebook page. 
I'll be in one of the shows. So thank you for tuning in, and I hope to see you soon. Bye! Look at how well this matches. I didn't even... It's the same color!